Andrea, you know, you and I love love. I especially love love. And I love weddings. It's tremendous. Kenneth and Brian are here. They are one of 26 couples, 26 couples, 26 miles. Going to get married at the uh, Wrigley Building on uh, Saturday. And then Sunday, um, Kenneth is going to do it all. Uh, Brand new uh, brides who become wives. Get up and run a marathon. Run a marathon? Yeah. How cool is that? Welcome, you guys. (laughs) Thank Thank you. you. This is awesome. First marathon? Second. Second marathon. What was the first? Last year, Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. And you said, I haven't felt that sick in a long time. I'd like to do that again. (laughs) Uh, No, it's it's hard, but the exuberate, my wife's done it four or five times. And the thrill of finishing and, and just that accomplishment, right? Yeah, well, I wasn't originally going to run again this year. And I looked at the calendar and I said, ah. It marked the 10-year anniversary since my first husband had passed from a heart attack. Oh. So then I decided, I think I should run one more time and make it meaningful. What a nice legacy. How far in advance, so you're you're looking at the date, how far in advance do you really have to kind of start hardcore training, you know, and, and running a little bit every day? Well, I never really stopped running from the last marathon. Okay. Um, I figured, you know, I'm in the best shape of my life, and I don't want to just kind of mm-hmm. let this go. So Why yeah. not? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Kenitha is an author and a, a life coach, motivationalist. Mm-hmm. Is that a thing? Did I just make that up? You can have that. <laughs> I'll <laughs> nice. take it. Nice. <laughs> I don't know what that is, though. That's really it's cool what you do. Yeah, so I'm, um, I'm a National War Certified uh, Health and Wellness Coach, and I work with people who are in life transitions, whether you just got diagnosed with an illness or disease or whether you've lost someone um, or just going through. We all have different life transitions that are difficult for us, you know, yeah. and mm-hmm. everyone deals with them in different ways. And sometimes it does help to have a guide on the side. Yeah. Uh, to say. You're very calming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Beautiful where voice. does that come from? Um, I just say it comes from my faith and my belief. You know, it, it anchors me. Good for you. Me grounded. Likeyourimage.com, L-Y-K-E? Yes. L-Y-K-E, likeyourimage.com uh, is the website we'd send it to. You wrote a book too, didn't you? I did. What's it called? It's called Live the Change, <clears throat> Moving Beyond Circumstances to Live Your Best Life. Where do we get that? You can get that on Amazon. All right. Live the Change? Live the Change. What inspired you to write? <clears throat> well, it had been out of just the process of losing my first husband Mm -hmm. and everyone kept saying you're so motivational you're so inspiring clients just different places that I went and if I would share my story they say you should write a book you should read people need what you have and Mm -hmm. so that was how to process grief and get on with your life and meet this amazing man who's sitting next to you right Mm -hmm. here yeah that's right (laughs) (laughs) Um, it's a story (laughs) I found I showed these guys a picture when they came in they've seen the picture but if you ever want to see a happy couple yeah there's a picture of uh, of uh, the two of these uh, guys I don't even know how long it was taken but it's Kenitha and Brian she got her Got her hand in his face like, yeah, that's okay, baby. Oh, right, yeah. right. I'll do the talking here. Okay, you're going to be fine. Pretty much. But Brian. Brian's like, it's all right. Brian, Brian, who's an IT guru in healthcare, you look so happy, man. I couldn't be more excited for you. I really appreciate it. You're absolutely right. Uh, you nailed it when we came in. I'm very happy and blessed to have met Kanitha and uh, this this opportunity, the, the weddings at Wrigley, a world of love. We're so thrilled to have uh, won that opportunity to get married. Can I ask how you met? <laughs> is this, and a, did, is this did, a good story? And did he, and did he Everyone has a fu- I know, you're well, smiling. And Brian's did, like, yeah. did he have any game, right? You want me to tell it or you Yeah, they're asking it? you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a pro- probably at the eight-year mark that I had been widowed, and I had a girlfriend, and she said, you know, when are you going to start dating? You're, you're gorgeous, you're beautiful, your husband would want you to be alone. And yeah. I was like, I'm just not ready. i got to raise my kids, live my life. I'm on top of it. She just wouldn't leave me alone. So I said, okay, I'm going to shut her up. So I went online. and I, <laughs> Let me I, shut her up. I, I, <laughs> job, I created a, a dating profile. And, and I said, I'm going to put all these ridiculous standards on there. Like he had to be six feet tall. He had to be all these things. And then I woke up one day and Brian was in my bo- inbox. And I said, wait a minute, he's not six feet tall. How you get in my <laughs> inbox? <laughs> It's those IT skills going to work. <laughs> he checked every other box except that one. Yeah. You know what that's called? That's his new book, Hacking for Happy. There you, <laughs> there you go, go, man. Right. I like that. Right. <laughs> Seeing through the lies. Yeah. <laughs> good for you. So what, what, what what'd you love about him? You met him? I mean, he's a, uh, got a great smile, good looking oh, yeah. dude. He must have charmed you right away. Yeah. I think when I saw his profile, the first thing I did is I, I looked at the picture 
And my grandmother used to tell me a person's eyes are the key to their soul. Nah, he's got good eyes. And right. I looked at his eyes yeah. and I said, oh, he seems like he's very kind. I saw kindness in his eyes. And then in his profile, he talked about being a dad. And it was just things that really resonated with me. And, um, you know, sometimes they give me in a bad rap for not being good dads. And yeah, that's a from, huge deal when you have kids. That's yes, a huge deal. It's oh, a yeah. huge deal. And I come from a, a huge family where I think all of the kids would pick dad over mom. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and so um, that kind of won me over. Like, oh, he's a dad. He has this kid. He's in the life. And, and just the things that uh, we had in common so that. I bought him some brownie points, and we talked a few times and met in person. I was like, I think I kind of like And look what happened. (laughs) Um, uh, Brian, uh, uh, man to man, I want to salute you as well, because when you come into a situation where a woman clearly loved and lost and her first husband, and that's you may be thinking to yourself, oh, man, she's very attractive, but this is a hill i got to get over. Mm. And to be that in and all in and prove that you're a good dad and prove you're there for the right reasons, I salute you, man. You're a good I, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And we've known each other for five minutes, so I'm sure I'm right about that. Yeah, yeah. you're right on. <laughs> <laughs> you're very good. You, you, you've got a kid of yourself? Yeah, I do. Um, uh, she'll turn five in November, Vivian. Oh, it's the best. Oh, that's so cool. The and, how, and the families now are all kind of... Yep. One and celebrating the holidays all together. Oh, yeah. That's the kids, great. Yeah, the kids love each other. They get along well. They they play and all that good stuff. That's so good. we're very and blessed. Can you talk about your kids or you, your kids collectively now? Yeah, so I have um, Jessica will turn seven on the 11th. So we have a wedding, a marathon, and, and a, a birthday. birthday all in oh, six cool. days. <laughs> six day time. Oh, that's friends. the best age. Yeah, they play together and, and everything. And oh, then yeah. Nia is four. So, oh, yeah. We, well, Brian bless, calls man. them the three amigos. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Well, you guys are blessed. Uh, God bless you. Now, how's this wedding at, at the Wrigley Building going to work? Is there one preacher man that's going to do the whole thing? Um, my understanding is it's, uh, four, there'll be four judges, okay. um, and four couples at a time in, in waves, basically. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> we're up wow. first in the first wave and oh, then, cool. yeah. And then, Happy couple, step up, let's go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. So yeah, we get to have our family with us and, and they'll be surrounding us and everything and, and yeah, it'll be great. We're you really know, excited. I'm ordained. I should probably hang out in the lobby, right? In case they need to go to the bullpen. Right. In case they need a backup. Right. Yeah. You've married a lot. You're, married and your lot rate is good too. I think uh, yeah, you're like 12, 100%. 13. No, nah, one went south, but that dude had been married three times before. So, you know, what so do you expect? So with him, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> we won't hold that one against you. Yeah, that yeah. Count. So, <laughs> That's right. Now, right. the obvious question is, you, you're going to get up the next day, you're going to run a marathon. Are you guys going to have a honeymoon at some point? Or yes. is this the honeymoon? You know you're, you, you're, you know you're with the right lady and the right man. You're living the honeymoon. I think what we had kind of settled on is that... <clears throat> Just try to enjoy the journey of this process, and at a later date, we'll try to schedule something. There you go. Yeah, yeah. nothing yeah. wrong. Yeah, you the got a beautiful wedding in the city. We have some. Uh, can I can I give the gifts now? Yeah, it's going to give the gifts. Um, uh, our own lovesick puppy, uh, Tom Hush, the producer. Tom's a newlywed. We got to do a we got to oh. do a gift bag here. So Tom went out, and I told him he could expense this. Not true. Um, <laughs> and uh, went out and got Thank you, flowers. <laughs> flowers. We have flowers. Oh, cool. I, I won't take everything out well, of the ahead. bag. No, but, go ahead. Explain. Okay, some water bottles. Audrey's been tested. She's fine. Water <laughs> bottles. We have tickets for you guys to go to Great America at some oh, point as well. Nice. Candies. Cookies. Nice. Oh, and then, of course, we have to give you some radio station swag, too. Sunglasses. Yes. Oh. T-shirts and is some there, other radio swag. gift card in there, too? Oh, yeah. There's an app gift card From in here as well. Aft. Uh, chapstick again, radio right. swag. So we get lots wow. of nice things for you guys in here. Yeah, wow. so, and that's all because uh, uh, newlywed Tom, coming up on his first year of marriage, decided you guys better have a gift bag. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Yes. Thank you. Here you go. Well, it's great meeting you guys. Can you hang around a second? Let's say a couple more things. Let's do the break here first. Kenitha and Brian are here. She's going to run a marathon after she marries him. It's weddings mm-hmm. at Wrigley, a world of love in partnership with the Bank of America Chicago Marathon and. And uh, it's going to be great. 26 couples uh, getting married next Saturday and then the marathon on Sunday. You know, the big wedding meal afterwards. I assume everybody gets pasta for car bloating. Yeah, for Sunday. I'll eat pasta. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you eat the night, night before? Is that like a light meal? No, I he Brian used to run when he was younger, so he's really uh makes sure that I eat what I'm supposed to eat there you the go. day before the race. So nice. he's my he's my wingman. He keeps me straight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, so I cool. try. I try. Do you no, have the signs ready to go too? You oh, know, yes. like okay, I got two ready. Yeah, yeah. That half the fun because I don't run, and I live. I used to live in South Loop. I would every marathon go out and you you know you cheer and you yell. That's so much fun getting everybody's spirits up. 
Yeah, you're going to hold up a sign that says, uh, your husband? What, what, what's your Basically, yeah, yes. cheering on Miss Stevenson, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Got the cowbell, Mrs. everything's ready to go, yeah. Exactly. That is and, so cool. Uh, the Circuit Court of uh, Cook County has some volunteer judges who are going to marry these folks. Yeah, that's going to be great. So, I know, you're, yeah. you'll be standing by in the wings, hopefully. I'm not going to be needed, apparently. <laughs> um, but it's a very cool thing, and I'm really happy for you guys, and I'm glad to hear that you got these little kiddos who are going to stand up with you. Uh, you're blessed. You really are. Yes. We and really I wish are. you a lifetime of happiness. Thank, thank you so you much. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for having us, and thank you to all of the staff. Um, best, oh, of course. Best of life and best of happiness to both of you. Yes. No, Andre, we have to do wedding pictures, and i got to finish this show. So why don't you take them out to start doing the series of photos. Okay. Give me package B, which includes the wallets. Uh, <laughs> we'll do. We'll do. We'll have, we'll have a good background, too. So instead of a starry night, there'll be like a WLS right. sign. In the oh, yeah. right. <laughs> right. And I love the idea that you're going to be in the picture smiling. They go, we'll do, who's the pretty girl? We'll do prom pose. Yeah, what's she doing in there? <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys for coming over. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right.